if you give a little All right. uh, uncertain answer to some uh, I think I gave an uncertain answer today, do you want to help me? So it didn't actually activate the quest. I have to I didn't think about it. Yeah. Updated I'll my journal. Now that's a bit a bit annoying. I'm gone. You forget although it's a good thing that you forget you're playing a computer game. So you have to follow different logic. Okay, I want to talk to you about Team Tree. What about Team Tree Cutter? Yeah. He wants to be released from his curse. He gives you a surprised look and then waves you up. I find that hard to believe, Cutter. Team Tree doesn't have the mental power to decide anything. Did that Irius Hamir Hamris put you up to think about it, Sebastian? Hamrit doesn't know Team Tree is a zombie, let alone who created him, right? His size and seems to be deep in thought. Yeah, you're right, of course. Amnes could not have sent you. I guess poor Team Tree is more aware than I intended. A box on me for my stupidity. So will you release him? He looks at you for a moment with, with conflicting emotions crossing his face. He sighs and throws his arms up in the exasperation. I cannot, sorry. He gives you a plain look. I want to, mind you, but I cannot. I fulfilled a contract by creating Dim Tree and I cannot break it. Right or wrong, I am a man of my word. My reputation demands it. Hmm. Yeah, he won't tell us information about the contractor. Okay, I understand your dilemma and agree with you. Could yeah, this is am I going to be lawful or chaotic? I want to pick the I don't really agree with the I have to pick the I don't really give a rat's ass about contracts. What do you yeah actually I do contracts I made, not about contracts that other people make. Okay uh, could I release him instead? That would be difficult. He turns and begins to look through a nearby box. After a moment he removes a book which he sets down in front of you. First, you'd have to have some magical aptitude. Second, you'd have to be able to properly speak the words you find on page 23 of this book. Last, you'd have to touch Dimitri Dimitri. Just as you feel the power of the words culminate within you. He turns his back on you and rummages through another box. I couldn't allow you to read that book, however. It would be tantamount to my breaking into my work through my actions, through the actions of another. Yeah, he's giving us an option to read the book. Updated my journal. I'm gone. So he can keep this contract, but he breaks it in spirit. Yes, Team Tree, I know how to release, you know. Please, friend. Yes, yeah, speak to where Sebastian taught you. You pause to gather your thoughts and then carefully speak to where Sebastian taught you. You then reach out and touch Team Tree lightly on the forehead. Rest well, Team Tree. Updated my journal. With a sigh, the zombie collapses at your feet. You think you hear a fleeting thank you, friend, as he falls to the ground. Done. Ooh. Yep. Okay, tell me I'm I'm not gonna read this, I'm asking about the locations we already asked about. Okay, we'll ask the tower. That scarred iron wreck, a war of mystery it is, but I have some thoughts on it. First, it wasn't always here as I understand it, it simply arrived one night and no one saw how it got here. Now you've been outside of it. It's been, it's seen a battle and it looks like battles that most people could not imagine. 
Mihaler, I've seen the edges of the blood war. I attacked a Tanari fiend or two when I, things were desperate, with only my harmonium fellows beside me. Those scars on the tower look like they were gathered over several centuries at least. Okay, he pauses for a moment. Now listen close. My experience allows me to recognize some of those scars that decorate the side of the tower. Some are acidic blasts, surely enough, from some major sorceries. Some are tyranic teething blades. Others look like detonation from loft globes or scars from Batesu cornugon whips. However, a lot of the weapons embedded in the sides are weapons more like none I have ever seen. And I am well versed in a variety of weapons on many different worlds and on many different planes. Makes you wonder what's held inside the tower. Basher who cracks that tower might have a museum in their hands. Makes you curious, doesn't it? Yet it does. How the hell am I going to get in there? The only thing I remember is that it's possible. We'll keep talking to people out All right. about it. See if we can at some point get a clue. All right. Portal detected. Yeah. I think the here's the portal to get into the siege tower. Problem being, right. what's the portal key? A print shop. Messenger. Scott Law Pen. Yeah, we know him. And we have a quest we need to use him on anyway. Yeah, you see a thin, stooped man hunch over a desk, scribbling on a piece of paper. His hair is thinning and drab, drawn back into a ponytail, and thin spectacles adorn his hooked nose. His age could be anywhere from early twenties to his late forties. He doesn't look up as he speaks to you. What do you want? Make it quick. What do you do here? Yeah, he looks sharply at you, seizing the scratching of his pen. Are you entirely dim? It's a printing shop. I print things here. Look around. I print. What do you print? Books, pamphlets, handbills, words, letters, whatever. Though I don't do racy prints, and I don't fulfill any perversions you might want, nor do I care to ask. Do they have to do with work? I'd like you to print a love letter for me. A love letter? Fine, it'll cost you though. Let's call it a uh, hundred coins. You look desperate for this. How about the discount? Fine, seventy-five. Take it or leave it. I'll take it. He takes your money, thinks for a moment, and selects a perfumed sheet of paper from a drawer in his desk. He scribbles a few baker's love-struck lines on it on a flowery, elegant script. This will do, I'm sure. It will. Questions, questions. What is that? Uh, oh, what do you print? We know this, we know this. Very well. And okay, now we should have a love letter. Yes, we do. This is a passionate, steamy, and rather graphic love letter. Who it's to and whom it's from, however, are quite vague. Okay, named guy, talk to Yimin. Yimin. Okay. Darkhan, I would caution you against speaking to this Githyanki. What's Githyanki? Updated my journal. Githyanki and Githzerai were once of common stock. We were slaves and food for the Illithids. Mind players who devoured our lives in order to succor their own. One of our ancestors, the warrior queen Geith, led us to victory against the Illithid and we escaped. We have waged unending war on the mind players ever since. However, there was disagreement over the future of our people. 
upon the blasted plains our leader Seraphimon made the pronouncement of two skies and steel was bared one race became two it is a rift that cannot be crossed peacefully I'm gonna be soon anyway Bulls rush in the Githyanki has been watching you approach and seems to ignore you entirely a Dakon who wails on the walls of Shaktolor, an unexpected surprise. He draws his weapon. <laughs> 